What is up all my dorks, nerds, geeks, and gamers? It's your host Ghost here. And we're going to be looking at another game today. It's uh, We're going to look at 9 minutes of the Dark Pictures Man of Meeting gameplay uh, from Gamescom 2018. Um, this is from the creators of Until Dawn, so it's a story-driven horror game, but it is also, also an anthology game. Uh, so there will be 3 or 4 stories in the game itself uh, told in this style of gameplay. So let's hop right in, see some gameplay of it, and talk about it. Alright. We got this ship here. A uh, very ominous sea. So very much feels like Until Dawn. Hello, and welcome. Sometimes we are guided uh, very story driven as you can tell. Times our head. You see, we each make decisions according moral to our compasses, own moral okay. compass. And we have to live with those decisions Touché. or die by them. So here's a story, rational or emotional, or uh, choice. So once again, like until dawn, you'll be making choices based on dialogue uh, and interactions with characters, and that'll affect your story. It'll affect your gameplay uh, down to some of the most minute details. Brad, by the way, my little bro. Dude, you know I'm not like the graphics look good though. Look really good. People, whatever. Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? So is everybody on board and, and these are real actors they used uh, nothing to report and you can kind of tell that my clients are overprivileged and overpacked out for adventure and kind of breaks the immersion for me though a little bit if they use non just rumors, people that don't look like theories. actors or isn't someone we know in a game it makes it more immersive for me because it's almost like watching a stranger Take this. use it if you have to all right so we got a gun for whatever reason that mouse looks really skinny for a mouse Uh, the music presentation is really good. Where are you taking me? Now, why would I tell you? <clears throat> so she looks like she's being held prisoner. For whatever reason. So they're in a World War II freighter. That's what it is. It's a ghost ship, I assume. And that looks like who you are playing as at the moment. Curious if you're going to be switching characters throughout the story. All right, come out. Show yourself. And remember, this is only one story in the anthology. There's going to be, I believe, three stories. I don't know if they're going to release them as separate games, but there are going to be three stories. These fucking places, Chris. Yeah, you don't know that. So very much like until dawn, you're going to be doing some searching around and or heavy rain, just interacting with objects or Detroit if you played that. Just checking out stuff, inspecting stuff, learning as you go. Huh. Look at this. Very typical, very cool still. Still excited for it. What was that Just waiting to see some actual what? horror elements before I can really make what my mind that? up. Huh? Oh, okay. A little jump scare there. Didn't get me. It's a boat. It's not that big. Jesus! <sighs> oh Christ. Oh Christ. That guy. That guy's probably still right here with us. I mean, you die on a ship. Yeah, not necessarily. On ship. Come on. Exactly. Just because there's a body there doesn't mean there's a ghost. She's not being that stupid. That guy is being stupid. Olsen! Is that French? Chinese? Japanese? Let me know in the comments what that language was, guys. I know a little bit of Spanish and English, so I, I that was not either of those. Alright, so that's a good look at the ship. Oh, aggressive. I wonder what will happen to her getting in that situation. Uh, where you have this guy with a gun following her around. Curious. Peaks the curiosity. That sounds like French. Oh, 
This is tripping out. I'd be scared. Jesus, that dude has a gun. He just like running off, shooting things. Okay, what just happened? So does it get in your head then? Does it affect you mentally? The ghost? I'm not sure. Okay, that was a little weird animation for the uh, square button to be mashed. Necessary? Maybe not. We need to find a way up on deck. It's like the uh, triangle to pay respects in Call of Duty button. We all know that wasn't needed. But I'm not complaining. It, it looks like a good game still. There we go. Get some of that horror element in there. That can't be a good sign. What was that? This is what I want to see. I don't want to see you guys talking. Show me something cool. Hey! Shut up! What are you doing? Uh, lighting is really good. Shadows act like shadows, the light shines like light, uh, reflects off the things it should. Very good. And I believe this is going to be a third party game. I do not think this is uh, Sony exclusive. It may be. I don't know. Because Until Dawn was, I believe. So we'll have to find out. Meet again. Annoyed, hopeful. And there's choices. Stop being weird. Brad, try to keep it together, okay? I'm trying to get us out of here. I don't know why I had to have a conversation right then. I'm sorry, Fliss. I just. Where are we? Do we know which way we're going? I do like her as a protagonist, though. So. Very cool. Level headed. Uh isn't too brash, doesn't make decisions for the player. I like that. Just found a bullet casing on a dead body that's been there for what, looks like 40 years. Doesn't explain anything. <clears throat> Could have been there sitting there for 60 years. Oh god, that's a little scary. Right out the water. Yeah, that's kind of terrifying right there. Pull it out, I want to see it. Okay. A little, a little terrifying. I like that. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so are they zombies or ghosts? And that escalated quickly. Like, there's a lot of them now. Very much like Until Dawn, where stuff happens out of nowhere. Save him or run, watch. It's gonna be your choice. Yep. What is this thing? Oh, it's just more of those things. So what, did we get him? Must have got him. Alright, well that was uh, the Dark Pictures Man of Meeting gameplay. Let's talk about it. Alright guys, to me, this game should have been called Until Dawn 2. Because it's clearly, it, it just to me, it feels like a sequel to Until Dawn. Um, not a direct sequel, but a uh, spiritual successor to Until Dawn. Uh, it's basically the same game. You're living through a horror movie, but this is an anthology, so you got more options, more uh, room for the developers to play with, and what they want to tell, and what stories they want to tell. 
And that's what I believe Until Dawn should have been with in the first place. It should have been part one of an anthology series. And that's kind of what they're doing now. <clears throat> Either way, I'm still looking forward to it. Until Dawn was a blast. If you played Until Dawn of uh, Russia Blood in VR, also a blast. I recommend that game as well. And I recommend you guys try this one out. I believe it's going third party. Uh, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I'm sorry, guys. I apologize. If it's not, it's cool either way. I have all systems, so it's cool with me. But um, check it out. Look into it. Uh, make your own decisions, guys. Uh, like, subscribe, and share. Leave a comment down below what you think of this game. Uh, you think it's going to work. You think it won't. It, did you play Until Dawn? Did you enjoy it? Do you enjoy games like Heavy Rain or Detroit? Uh, very story-driven games like that. Uh, I'm curious on this stuff. I want to know. Also, uh, stay look for the stream tonight. We're doing Devil May Cry 5 starting tonight at uh, midnight. Uh, like, subscribe, and share, guys. I've been your host, Ghost. Until next time.